Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology, of course, and today we are going to be looking at uh, some quite quite a lot of terms, right? So I'm going to first of all basically look at the differences between plant and animal cell. So we'll look at differences, differences between plant and animal cell. Okay, then of course we'll look at uh, the cell membrane, we'll look at the cell wall, then we'll look at uh, some characteristic features of a mature plant cell, all right? So um, let us uh, get started with it, but before we do that, know that this video tutorial is brought to you by one and only O3 Schools Jam app. If you have that app, you should be dancing, you should be dancing because you have almost everything that you need to succeed in your exam, okay? Past questions are all in the app, all right? We have lecture notes in the classroom feature where can they, that, that are structured according to the jam syllabus. So you don't need to go and be carrying the big textbook up and down or looking for uh, which uh, textbook should I use to study this one, okay? Everything is in the classroom. Then, of course, we also have the question search feature where you can search for questions according to the topic. Then we have the UTM challenge, the mock challenge. Every Saturday, we conduct mock challenge for you so that you get used to hard jam set question to build your confidence towards the main exam tell me what you will define again all right so you have everything everything i'll be saying just for three thousand naira. download the app on your phone activate it you can practice anywhere anytime all right on your bed while in the toilet anytime you want to practice you can practice the convenience is is, is given and of course you need it to succeed all right so please download the app from play store and activate. So before we start, let us see a question from the app. We are, we are going to come back to the question. Let us just see a teaser. Is it which are the following? This is a 2023 question, uh, number 40. Okay, it is being displayed on your screen right now. It says, it says, which are the following is a characteristic feature of an animal cell? Which are the following is a characteristic feature of an animal cell? A say cell wall, B say chloroplast, uh, C say central vacuole, D say nucleus. All right, I'm going to come back to the question and many more questions at the end of the class, not before it, because a lot of you have discovered that you don't stay till the end of the class, and it is in the end of the class that you learn more things that are not said during the class. Okay, so please, if you like, watch. If you like, don't watch. That is your problem. Let's get back to the board. Okay, so I'm going to look at differences between plants and animal cells. But before that, I said I'm going to look at what? Uh, the cell membrane. Cell membrane. Okay, I'm going to look at what the cell wall. Okay, so the cell membrane is what we call uh, the dub a double layered membrane. Okay, a double layered membrane. A double layered membrane of proteins, of proteins and lipids. Okay, it's a double layer membrane of what? Of proteins and what? And lipids that surround the cell. Okay, the cell membrane, we call it what? A double layer membrane of what? Proteins and lipids that surround the cell. Okay, and then of course, it separates the cytoplasm from its surrounding. Okay, it surrounds the cell and separates the cytoplasm from its surrounding. This cell membrane that we're talking about, okay, some people also call it the plasma membrane. Okay, so if you hear plasma membrane, we're also talking about the cell membrane. If you hear plasma lemma, also plasma lemma. Okay, if you hear plasma lemma, it's also the same thing, you know, it also means what? Plasma membrane, it also means cell membrane. Okay, so I think this one is in the past question, plasma lemma. We're going to see it at the end of the class, all right? So it says, a cell membrane is always a double layer membrane of protein and lipid that surround the cell, okay, and also separate the cytoplasm from its world surrounding. You know what the cytoplasm is, right? A gelatinous liquid, okay, containing what many what substances, okay, contain water, contain fats, contain carbohydrates, and so many others. All right, so uh, the uh, the cell membrane is a double layer membrane of protein and lipids that what surround the cell and separate the cytoplasm from its world surrounding. You know that all this. Cell organ organs that are bound by, mem by membranes, all right, that make them to function in their own unique environment. Okay, if I'm following us from the beginning of what of what, of cell structures and functions of cell, then you will see that what, we have dealt a great deal about all this. Okay, so that is the cell membrane is a double layer membrane of what of protein and lipids. I will say what's also called plasma membrane or plasma lemma, and it is selectively permeable. Very important. It is what? Selectively permeable. 
Okay, it is selectively permeable. What we mean by selectively permeable is that what it allows some substances to go through it, while it does not allow some others to go through it. Some substances can go through it, others cannot go through it. Okay, so it selects what goes through it. Okay, so the pla the plasma membrane or what the plasma lemma or the cell membrane is selectively permeable. It is what selectively what permeable, and the good thing is that. It is present in both what plant and animal cells. Okay, it is present in both plant and animal what cells. Okay, so uh, let us look at the cell wall now. The cell wall is what we call what uh, a free permeable what membrane. It is freely what permeable. Okay, the cell wall is what is freely permeable, freely uh, permeable. Okay, it allows what all materials, uh, allows all substances to go through it. Okay, it is not like the cell membrane that is selectively permeable. This science what selectively, we say it's what is selectively what permeable. But of course, this cell wall is what is what freely what permeable as you can see here. It allows all substances, all material to what? To go what, through it. It is only found in what? In plant cells. The cell wall is found only in what? In plant cells. Okay? And the cell wall of plant is made by what? But made up of what? Of cellulose. Okay? The cell wall of what? Of plants is made up of what we call cellulose. Okay? The cell wall of plants is made up of what to call what cellulose. This cellulose gives them what structural strength. Okay, it gives what structural strength and allows what water to what to go through it. Okay, it allows what liquid or water to what to pass through it to, to absorb water. Okay, so the cellulose is what is present is what in the cell wall of what of plant cells, and then of course we say that's how sometimes we call it the cellulose cell wall. We must have heard of it before if I've been in biology. Okay, we say cellulose cell wall. Okay, so the cell wall of plant cell is made up of what what to call what cellulose. Okay, to give it what structural rigidity or structural what strength. Okay, and we say it is freely permeable because what all materials can what can what can go through it. Also, the cell wall of bacteria, the cell wall of bacteria, of bacteria, okay, it's made up of what we call peptidoglycan. Okay, it's made of what we call peptidoglycan, or sometimes we call it a murine, or murine. Okay, it's sometimes made up of, it's made up of what? The cell wall of what? Of bacteria. It's made up of what we call pep peptido, uh, peptidoglycan, or what? mirroring okay so please take that and put it at the back of your mind all right so you may just see it in the past question i just have to chip that in okay so we have said that the cell membrane is selectively permeable okay and it's a double layer membrane of what protein and lipid that surround the cell and separate the, uh, the cytoplasm from what from its surrounding and we say it is what selectively permeable very important okay and we say it is present in both plant and animal cells but the cell wall Okay, it's freely permeable and it can only be found in plant cells. Okay, and we say that what that the cell wall of plant cells, the cell wall of plant cells made of what we call what cellulose. This cellulose is what gives them rigidity or what structural what strength gives them structural strength and able to work for absorption of what of water. All right, so I will say that the cell wall of what of bacteria is made of what we call what peptidoglycan or what. Murine. It's made up of what is called peptidoglycan or murine. So now, quickly, we are going to now look at what the um, uh, look at what the difference between plant and animal cells. Let me see the differences between plant and animal cells. I'm going to use a table to what to distinguish that differences between plants, plant cells, and then here animal cells okay and um, the first obvious one is of course that this one where the plant cells made up of what of cellulose what cell wall okay presence of number one presence of cellulose cell wall okay while of course the animal cell is as what a living cell membrane that's what the cell membrane a living a living cell membrane okay so that is different between what plant and what an animal or cells okay the first difference here is what one presence of what of cellulose cell wall while of course the animal cell has what a living cell membrane okay also in the plant cell okay chloroplasts are what is present chloroplast is what is present 
in what in plant cells okay by in animal cell chloroplast is absent chloroplast is absent okay so that's the second difference between what plant and animal what cells chloroplast is absent while chloroplast is what is present in what in plant cells okay also also have centrioles 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 are absent in what in plant cells they are absent in what in plant cells but centrals are present in what in, in animal or cell okay so number three centrals are absent the centrals are present also for plants food is stored in form of what in form of what starch okay we well, have said that before All right so when we talk about the chloroplast so number four food is stored in the form of starch. All right, so that's the fourth difference. Okay, well, of course, yeah, food is stored. Food is stored in form of what? Of glycogen or fat. Okay, so food is stored in form of starch in what? In plant cells, but in animal cells, food is stored in form of what? glycogen or fat. So these are the what? The four differences. Very simple, right? We're going to see in past questions where questions like this are asked. So the following is the difference between plant and animal cells. So please, you must know them, okay? So number one, presence of cellular cell wall. This one has a living cell membrane. Plant cells have chloroplasts. Animal cells do not, okay? Centrals are, are absent in what? In plant cells, but they are present in what? In animal cells. And of course, food is stored in the form of what? Starch. Why your food is stored in the form of what? Of glycogen and fat. All right, so let me see uh, characteristics of a mature plant cell. Characteristic of a mature plant cell, okay? In a mature plant cell, right? In a mature plant cell, the central vacuole, the central vacuole of a mature, the central vacuole of a mature plant cell occupies about 50 to 90% of the entire cell. Okay, take note of that. Characteristic of a mature plant cell. We are looking at and we are saying that what? That in a mature plant cell, the central vacuum occupies like 50 to 90% of the entire cell. Okay, and during growth, take note, during growth, the central vacuum, during growth, the central vacuum enlarges. It enlarges during growth. During growth, the central vacuole enlarges while the cytoplasm covers up what, the entire cell. During growth, the what? The central vacuole, what happens is what? It enlarges during growth. The central vacuole enlarges during growth. During growth. While, of course, the entire cell is covered by what? The cytoplasm. The cytoplasm what? Covers the entire cell. Okay, so please take note of that. Those are just a few characteristics of what of a mature plant cell. Number one is that, of course, the central vacuole occupies 50 to 90 percent of what of the entire cell, and during growth, the central vacuole enlarges while the cytoplasm occupies the entire cell. All right, so please take note of that. Now I'm going to head to the what to the old three schools jump up immediately and start taking what questions so that we can what end this class immediately. All right, now let's go to the question we started with. Which says, it's a 2023 question number 40, and it says, which of the following is a characteristic feature of an animal cell? Of an animal cell. A, they say cell wall. Okay? B, they say chloroplast. C, they say central vacuole. D, they say nucleus. Okay? Which of the following is a characteristic feature of animal cell? Which one animal cell get? Okay? And um, the characteristic feature of an animal cell there is what is presence of, of nucleus. Okay? Uh, plant cells are the only ones that have cell wall. Okay? As I said, we say what cell wall is what present only in plant cells. Okay, chloroplasts they can only be found also in what in plant cells. Okay, then central vacuole also can be only be found in plant cells. So although they also find other bacteria like fungi, okay, even pro, even in protist cells you can find uh, central vacuole. But the central vacuole is very very small. It's not it's not compared to like the central vacuole that we have in plant cells. Okay, so uh, the the the, the Characteristic feature of an animal cell in this option what is the nucleus? Okay, because it contains what uh, genetic material in the form of what of the uh, of DNA. All right. So now let's go to another question. This is a twenty twenty three question number fifteen. The question says, which of the following is a difference between plant and animal cells? 
A says plant cells have a cell membrane, while animal cells have a cell wall. Animal cells do not have a cell wall. Cell walls are only present in what in plant cells. So that will make that option A very wrong. So B say plant cells contain chloroplast, which is true for photosynthesis, while animal cells do not. It is perfect. Animal cells do not have chloroplast. Uh, okay, for photosynthesis, they do not perform. They do, they do not photosynthesize. All right. So C say which is which seems to be correct. B seems to be very correct. B, C say plant cells have a central vacuole, while animal cells have multiple small vacuole. Okay. That is wrong. D say plant cells have a nucleus, while animal cells do not animal cells have. So that is also wrong. So the correct option there will be option B. Let's see 2022 no, uh, model uh, 2 question 15. 2022 question 15 says the following organelles can be found in plant and animal cells. The following organelles can be found in what? In plant and animal cells, except the one that can be found in both plant and animal cells. Which of them is not? A, they say nucleus, all right? B, they say cell wall, okay? C, they say nuclear membrane. D, they say cytoplasm. Of course, the correct answer there will work would be the cell wall because the cell wall can only be found in what? In plant cells. All right, so uh, you say I have more. Um, okay, so uh, we're going to what? That we're going to what end there, of course. So please go and download the application. That's so many, many other questions from the world from the application. So go to the app, download immediately, and what and start practicing your way to success. If you have not liked this video, what I'm doing is wrong. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and keep sharing. And I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.